Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I'm going to read a statement that someone at my work believes in. Uh, also, there's other random people here. I don't know who they are. Fuck you, too. <laughs> I'm poaching Longhorn. Not uh, Longhorn, Pronghorn. The, the, this, the statement is, Why do girls get periods monthly? Like, just cancel the subscription. <laughs> were they being were they being unironic no Please tell me they weren't be okay so they were being ironic no no they they weren't being ironic uh ah get away from me <laughs> you're I've in the education seeing... system this book <laughs> i've been seeing shit like that more lately like, where someone will just say, like, if women don't want to get pregnant, they should just stop ovulating. Yeah, I just, blame... Uh, I blame Sneeko and Andrew Tate for all that. Just have menopause early. I'm sorry. <sighs> no, no, I have a... I have a better... I have a better pun. Why don't they just... Uh, why don't they just have an, a question mark? There you go. Instead oh, of a period, just have a question mark. Why would you have a question mark when you could have a comma? <laughs> Wait, that's close to coma. Oh my gosh, Booker also said, and someone never... Failure of the education system, and someone never has friends with a girl. Because according to that one person about the period thing. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna open up stream or try to open up stream. Oh yes, I I forgot I put three lights on this guy's bed. You forgot that? Yeah. Right, poor gore. Okay, I'm gonna take my mask off. You might want to be careful with, with the term taking your mask off, right? Let's see, what was I doing? Oh wait, Adurna is here. <laughs> Good job, Chew. Leave me alone, you know I'm slow. Well, I can now go over to that area where it has that dangerous gas, because I now have a gas mask. So it was a mission I had to do, but I couldn't go over there because I didn't have a gas mask. However... Apparently, I am currently mentally insane, as you can see, radioactive darkness slowly covering my screens. Finally. And for more alcohols, this book. Uh, Speaking of alcohol, <laughs> delicious. Wait, why do I have two revolvers? Bitch. 
fuck is it? I don't know where it went. It's a fucking teleporting bitch. Yeah, fuck you. So I guess I can now give uh, my ally a gun. I saw you, motherfucker. Oh, Hedge is back. My computer fucking hates me. You can tell. All I did was try to shut off the VPN, and it just had a fucking shit fit. Oh, yeah, that's true, book. That could be true. Well, I mean, it's not entirely my fault. He was the one who gave me his gun. Wait, what? That doesn't sound very. What do you hope to find among these trees, Igor? You tell me, my love. You brought me here. Oh, Buck was talking, talking about why the guy kept failing so much. It's because he didn't have a gun. <laughs> yes, I think I might be. You came here because there's something you need to understand. You know, that's probably trees. a part they of the are? issue. What they represent. Well, he gave me his gun, so it's not my fault. The radiation from the disaster killed all the microbes. He could have given the gun back. But then I would have no weapon. You have fists and other melee weapons. Maybe it will. You have knife. Every inch of this area. That's right, I can become the crazed butt stabber. Perhaps this whole uh, thing gives birth to something entirely new. Uh, shut up. You Perhaps set that up. Hey, that's what I that's what I could be Strange. called at some point or someday, hopefully. Something no, you oh would be God. getting you would be There's the victim of I the crazed butt stabber. <laughs> <laughs> same difference. No, not the same. It's quite no. literally the opposite position. <laughs> Bookworm agrees with me. Bookworm's an enabler. Bookworm is also giving me head pads for my unhinged mouse barking. Hatchet, what does it say? What does what say? The sign. Oh, the sign. I do not have the stream open because I'm trying to get. Tw uh. No. I don't have my reading glasses on. <laughs> I only that, have my regular glasses. That says, uh, Hunt Tin. The claw, the most irradiated piece of machinery in the zone. This might also be the most radioactive place in the zone, apart from the reactor core. Oh. It was used to remove the graphite from the roof of reactor number three. 20,000 Rundgen per hour. Touching it with one's bare hands would practically be suicide. So the liquidators had to use machinery or robots whenever they could. Both terrifying and fascinating, isn't it? Almost as if someone had accidentally opened a door to the inside oh, of some... Oh, guess dark, who's getting some more emotes. Losing power. Not me. Left untouched. Doug Doug? Where did you get these ideas from, Tanya? Me. Probably all those you <laughs> should be getting three... New emotes soon. Energy. We became quite adept at harvesting it. Really? This place is getting uh I know what bonk, is, loaf and, you know that's and pog. I don't understand. After that I don't really know which what else I would want. 
Are we truly ready to bear such a she was dumb, so I don't think. Thinking is for nerds. And, and, and you can get a dumb chew emote. You can get a chew dumb emote. Wait, a chew what? Chernobyl. Dumb emote? We need someone to guide dumb? Someone more what does that mean? All of us. I don't even know what that looks like. What does it mean? We have the Dunes hat on top of your head. No. Um, where you have like, have like one of those like stickers where it says dumb on it. And you fucking mispronounced dumps, you dumps. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <sighs> My first thought was like, just have like a, 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 a Pika. Just like staring aimlessly into the void with question marks above his head. Also, why do I have fucking eighteen subs? What did you, what did you people do? Bookworm. Deal with it, bitch. It's a bookworm. <laughs> I have zero subs. Pretty Sounds sure like a correct. skill issue to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Bookworm is probably gonna F fix that thing. <laughs> Bookworm says lies. Oh wait, hang on. Oh. Yeah, I Bookworm gifted me a sub. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh, a flat ass. Sorry. There's nothing wrong with a flat ass. Know about them. Well, when the Chernobyl reactor blew apart and the radio Those can be good. Those can be good for you. They build character. encompassing a 30 kilometer radius around the power Before you ask me what does that mean? I don't know. You should know this by now. It means you can build muscle by by fucking a flat ass. Muscle is not character. They have, and they're confused. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Well, actually, scientifically, it has been found out having sex can cure headaches. And migraines. Wait, is that true? Yeah, yeah, it actually is. It can actually help with headaches and migraines, having sex. It's weird, but it, it actually does work. It will work with most headaches and migraines. It's weird. Wait, I almost oh. forgot who I'm... I should never take medical advice from you. I almost made a very bad mistake. I fucking saw it from a government site! Fuck you! <laughs> like, the most trusted source... I don't know. Hold on, let me... Let me go look it up again. Is this really what we're gonna talk about on stream right now? Yes, fuck you! No, I don't wanna look up Clarence Thomas! <laughs> oh man. The No Nut November... The No Nut November crew was right. Spinal fluid really is semen. What? Okay, but is... No, the real question is... Is it true that cum is stored in the balls? Is that true? That cum is stored in the ball? Yes. No, no. Let me through. 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 Damn it! Oh, I hate this game. I hate it so much. And I hate the dynamo roller. Okay. It's not a full-on cure. It... 60% of people who have sex and have migraines or headaches and will cease having it after having sex. It's an actual thing that happens. It doesn't work for everyone. But yes, it's an actual fucking thing. Fuck you. Misinfo. <laughs> Plus, I doubt since you're saying it, I'm gonna what choose not to force? believe you. I hate you. I hate me too, so oh. it's okay. What's the source? on source your sites wait there's <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that's such a dumb joke yes, it 
Oh my god. There's like god. multiple, so hold on. Wait, did you literally just look at Wikipedia or some shit? I am not looking at Wikipedia, fuck you. I mean, that's not even a bad yeah, source yeah, for sure. somebody to check the, their sources online. Still, still not very uh, accurate. So it can be very inaccurate. So unless they, they would be more accurate to look at their sources. Oh, and I'm yeah. getting multiple. Fuck you. All right, I am not looking at WebMD. Fuck you. I never trust WebMD. WebMD has a pretty good score on, on a media bias fact check. Oh, really? It's better th would you rather get your info on stuff that happens with people's brains from fucking Autism Speaks? No. Exactly. So you're fine. Oh, I thought they were always joked about having wrong information. No, the joke is that you, um, like something that people tend to do, including me, is that you can Google symptoms that you're having. And WebMD is the source that will, like, pop up on Google first. And instead of just giving you a benign answer, um, it'll start showing you all of these, like, really serious health conditions. Like, oh, my stomach hurts. And then the result will come up and say, congratulations, you have stomach cancer. It's like, ah... I've got the sniffles right now. What's going on? And you put punch in your symptoms. And it's like, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you have AIDS super infection. You have a super AIDS, sorry. You did literally like the, like the second or third like par paragraph. It's just like, oh yeah, it, this can also potentially cause migraines. Wait, Bookworm also on. found an even test. better site. So hold on. There you go. Bookworm, the OG VIP here. Found the better the OG site. fact checker of your bullshit. But no, it's an actual fucking thing. It's like it's not for like huge major migraines that you need medicine for. It's like, okay. for right. like right. minor right. stuff. Right. Listen. Just yeah. so you know, it also says right, it also says it yeah. can cause migraines in people. So that's not a thing you can be like, oh, this is 100% true. No, it's something that happen happens to some people. It yeah. can help some people with migraines. And I'd, I've got to go here in a second to give my name a rub, but I want to make something <laughs> like extra uber clear, Bright. Yeah. We love you, but you know, you know that you have a terrible track record on just like, in the middle of stream saying, hey, I learned this thing. <laughs> you know that it is entirely justified for us to fucking doubt anything you say that has to do with a scientific claim. Well, I wasn't fully wrong. <laughs> right? That's Right? Getting a 50. <laughs> you still wouldn't have gotten an ass on your, like, okay, let's, let's take it this way. Right. You were writing a paper. What, what you said at the first? G guess what? That would, that would probably give you, like, a D or an F. Just handed to my teacher. <laughs> Having sex cures migraines. That sounds like the tagline to to a, the worst clickbait YouTube video. Yeah. Okay, am I, okay, I can be hurt. Jesus fucking Christ. Yes, we can hear you now. Yeah. Where the fuck was I? You have a terrible track record. We're very justified in doubting literally any scientific claim you make. Or medical, which is pretty much just science, but with extra steps. It's ah! just, medical <laughs> is just science, except 
the science of weird flesh prisons and penises. Yeah, it's, it's specific, specific kind of science. Yeah. Why, why did you have to feel the need to say that? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go. I'll be back in like a half hour or something. All right. See ya, Hatchet. Okay. Fuck you, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely gonna be clipped. By the way. <laughs> uh, now I crave fi the mouse and it suddenly craves violence. Deal with it. All right, now let's actually get back. That, that whole thing where from like. All right, now let's see. Did he succeed in his mission? If not, I'll give him a gun. <laughs> Wait, I have no idea if the gun is even loaded. Mission success. Oh my god. He failed his distraught. Oh my look at his arm. Oh yeah, that's been like that. Wait, wait, wait. So you let him go on a mission with a broken arm. <laughs> yes. You fucking dumbass. Good job, right? We knew we could count on you. We're both... Jesus Christ, thank you, Fire Bookworm. Red Emblem has gifted two subs to viewers. Alright, so... Okay, that one's my gun. This one is a gun he can have. Or she, we... They, I, don't, I don't know if they talked about their pronouns. Hey. First aid kit. Appreciate okay, take it. the fucking medicine. Feel better already. Can we equipment. swap some stuff, Olivier? Sure, whatever you need. So you don't get keep getting your ass kicked. Take the fucking gun. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think I think we should add one more lightning. <laughs> okay. There. Yes. Uh, no, not you. Gardening. I need to find where. Where's the laser cutting machine? No, that's ammunition. That's a fucking generator. Primitive armor, camouflage armor, metal plate. No. Okay.
Alright, so it's not there. I need to figure out where to fuck the laser cut machine so I can make a thing that regrows food. Something that regrows food. Have you tried putting seeds in the ground? The ground is great at regrowing food. Hush. No, make me. Hmm. Holy shit, we can't have a gaming station. And a gaming chair. Oh, here it is! For fuck's sakes, I finally found it. Fucking hell, now I can make a goddamn food shit. Food shit? Yes! I can make food! I don't have enough, any more food. Now I got two things that will grow pumpkins that we'll eat. We have good old pumpkin pie. What? Pumpkin pie is good for you. No, it's not. You don't know no, that. I think, I think the rest what? of dinner is ready. Be back in a bit. No. Okay. It tastes good, but it's not good for me. I eat it every day and I'm fine. Sex is out. <laughs> Hello? Professor Kimanook? Igor? Are you there? Answer if you can hear me, please. Hello? Yes? Who's this? The name is Oga. I live in the village in Red Forest. I've heard about you. I think we can help each other. <laughs> I hear that a lot lately. I'm afraid you need to be more specific. Your distrust is understandable under the circumstances, but we have the same goal. Drive NER out of the zone. Well, I didn't come here to conduct a guerrilla war on corporate mercenaries. Yes, I know. You're looking for someone. So am I. Please come to our village in Red Forest so we can talk in person. Be extra oh. careful on the way here, okay? The monsters? They mostly come out at night. Mostly. If there's a village, does that mean you're one of the summer shells? The people who returned to their homes after the disaster? Some of the older ones never left. I know it's hard to believe. And there are newcomers like me. We came to the zone for many different reasons. But now we're united by one common goal. To get rid of NAR. I see. Ah. Fascinating. Please come to the village. This isn't just about me. You'd be doing the right thing as well. I'll make sure to stop by if I get the chance. Olivier's not gonna say anything about that, but uh, alright. Okay. Olivier. Do. Not. Wait. Oh. What? No. 
the fuck's going on? Why would it not let me pick? Are you serious? He can't do this mission. Why? I I could probably let him rest. Yeah, but not, let me move the thing to let him rest. There we go. I can't do anything with Olivier. It's not letting me do anything with Olivier. Did I just immediately create a glitch? We go. Yeah, maybe, uh, like, leave and then... Yeah, I most certainly did a glitch. Oh, now you're seen into the deep abyss. Deep abyss that consumes everything in all life. You can escape this uh, abyss. Uh, App running. The game is currently not running Steam. Yeah. Fucking dumb piece of shit. Showing up on screen. Everyone, right? Or... Oh, okay. Yeah, I meant like on Twitch. But yeah, I see it. Hmm. Do you want to go to the manual checkpoint or the current checkpoint? I mean, it's only, like, three seconds. No, it's three minutes. Uh, three minutes, yeah. Three minutes different from each other. Yeah, it's just... So you're probably gonna have to, like, create that, like, uh, machine again, potentially. I don't think so. Well, yeah, there's... Well, there's a chance you might have to do that. I hope I, I don't. Uh, no, I created on day 12, so this is day 13. I uh, no. yes. Well, I got through all this again. If there's a bit of now, Olivier. Okay, I guess because he's distraught or whatever, he can't do anything. Well, that's just fucking great because I need. Medical supplies. Yeah, now medical medical supplies should be good for the both of you. I just need to find a bunch of alcohol. Alcohol doesn't. Well, I say that because, because the Psyche is the most important thing right now, because we're both at in the red for Psyche, and alcohol almost completely cures your Psyche, weirdly enough. So getting drunk cures you. What? I don't know. I have to ask. We're in the middle of nowhere. What are we... Jesus, Chew, what the fuck? <laughs> Happy Easter. Fuck you. <laughs> Happy Zombie Day. <laughs> oh my god. Also, happy, um. Happy death for a little bitch. Sure. 
Hey, I'm still alive. No, no, not you. You do remember what... Shoot, you've seen what I... Yeah, I know. That's a joke. Okay. I think I've done enough trading for now. <laughs> Good luck building your fortune, Mr. Invisible Hand. Haha, <laughs> thanks. But I'll make my own luck. Alright, I got food, but I had to get rid of my gas mask. Doesn't sound like a good. Okay. Well, there's no food missions, so that's literally the only way I could get food. Right. Okay, I have a feeling I'm gonna need to take up my gun. Oh, well, yeah, because there's probably gonna be some people there. Trying to get, grab the same stuff as you. Uh, I did not see that there are multiple enemies. Damn. Right? Right? I thought I could hide in the grass. You're not a Pokemon. <laughs> you, you don't have that yeah. ability. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> And she was too dumb to know what his ability is. Small brain. Chu's ability is butt plug. I'm sorry. I was gonna say something, but I'm not <laughs> gonna say it. Because I'm not exposing myself today. Not what? Nothing. Exposing not, himself. Not exposing yourself? I nope. think you've already done that, but okay. Oh, oh, you sweet summer child. I'm not gonna elaborate. Where? Like, right in front Probably in the grass. We've got a visual How the fuck have you- Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. There you're gonna hit. I don't know where he's at. Hold it. Boom, got one. There's only three of them, so there's only two left to deal with now. Ha! Serpentine! Serpentine! It's not gonna help you. It's actually working. <laughs> They're not even firing at you, right? They were. Well, I'm not going to <laughs> Alright, well that was stupid of me. That's right, bitch. Oh god. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! My gosh. Can you load any slower? Yes. My goodness. Thank goodness I have a med kit. Oh my gosh, I shot his leg off. <laughs> That looks really awful. I thought I said NRA for a second. Oh, and it looks like you might have picked up a gun. Did I? Holy shit, I have an AK-47. <laughs> Um, when I'm paying more attention than the streamer. I mean, I would have found out eventually. 
We were doing so well. What happened? What? She was playing silly squid game. How much did you lose, Bobby? We're not losing. We, we haven't lost yet. We're just not doing very good at the moment. But two medicates. <gasps> we got alcohol! Two things of alcohol. One for me, one for the dude. That was a pretty, that was a pretty simple organized mission. Yeah, now I got an AK. And I also have some food. Maybe you can I... give your other gun, your other gun to him and then just, he's just like dual wielding. Oh wait, no, he can't. Fuck. <laughs> Raises is very comfortable, makes your companion twitchy, the air quality your base is bad, slightly lowering companion's health, your electricity power is low, play can lie is bad for your psyche companions. I placed a fucking generator. <laughs> Let's give us both normal. <laughs> that way we're not starving. And I'm going to drink one of these. That's much better. Oh, and... I don't like that. Where the fuck is he? There he is. Can we swap some stuff, Olivier? Sure, whatever you need. Wait, how do I... I can't give him alcohol. I can't cure your psyche that way, because so... So, air quality... And, uh... Other thing. However, first thing I'm gonna do... I'm gonna see if I can make any more food storage. No, I need a lot of herbs. I got every good amount of everything else. I just need herbs. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we need air quality. Back in case it wasn't there. It was here. Power. Okay, first we need to get power supply. Damn, I don't have enough mechanical parts for a generator. Mechanical. You said not mechanical. Whatever. Damn. Yeah, but I can build this, I just don't have the Chernobyl power tools. I'm not excited, so let's go back. Uh, and I need a bunch of mechanical parts, like a lot of mechanical parts. Okay. Okay, so we can't do that. That of power. Try to see if we can build any air quality. God damn. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you can see if we can like make any herb things. You can't make herbs. 
You have to find them. While on missions. So, looks like we can't do anything now. I'm not going to upgrade my AK at the moment because uh, we should actually get power and air quality. That way, this motherfucker can actually do missions. Uh, you're cursing a lot. And I'm honestly, I don't approve. Oh, yeah. Anyone buying that? No, no one. Well, I, it was worth a try. This woman, Holga, she seems to be running the show. Must be tough as nails. And all these Samo shields, they say it takes a village to raise a child, but how many does it take know, to find know. a lost love? Well, that was weird information I've gathered. Wait. Equip. Herbs. Gladly take those. Fuck. Oh. Thank you. Take that. Hey, fuck off. Bitch! <laughs> you thought... Oh. If you can think you can kill me. The oh, fuck? Fuck you. Get a lot of herbs, flammable parts, no mechanical parts though. I find a way inside. Here we go. Yes, get up here. I guess I can't jump up there. Never mind. I don't know you. What do you want? I'm Eagle. Olga sent for me. Olga, some Eagle jackass here to see you. You know this guy, or should I shoot him in the throat? It's fine. Open the gate, Marco. Oh. You, you seem pretty kind. Fucking jackass. Well, this is probably running into some bad people, so. Professor Kimanuk, I presume. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. We've got a lot of work to do, you and I. I'm here. Yeah. What did you want to talk about? A few days ago, someone took our supplies. My husband goes to Yawin after the thieves. Now he's gone too. In the meantime, some NAR henchmen showed up claiming they have a prisoner they want to trade for something of value. And you think it's your Kostya? The description matches. I'd make the trade in a heartbeat, but as you can see, we don't really have anything to exchange for my husband. This place you're running, it's really something. I'd never expect to find 
What? Regular folks living in the middle of the zone? You're right. We're anything but regular. We're hunters. We know these woods better than the trees know the rain. What about you? You're too young to... To what? Remember the Chernobyl disaster? You're right. I came with my mom from Minsk after my dad died. I was a teenager then. She ah. was a doctor who wanted to help the radiation victims in the zone. She met Matt Bay here and, well, they took a liking to each other. Then NA arrived and came down on us hard. Fucking fascists. My mom disappeared. <laughs> oh, that God. Now. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Taught me everything I know. In Minsk, I was Not just really. a little girl. Okay. Here, I'm the goddamn queen of the forest. Kostya came here two years ago with Doctors Without Borders. He stayed because of me. But, but yeah, yeah, fuck fascists. This is really none of your business. All right. I can see you're really looking out for your people. I appreciate that. I'll help if I can. I promise you won't regret it. For our friends, we serve fine vodka. For our enemies, we have shotguns. <laughs> One more thing. These assholes who took Kostya, I'm pretty sure they have our supplies too. You want me to keep an eye out for the supplies too, huh? If you don't mind, but my old man comes first, obviously. Sure, sure. I live to serve. Ah, now I leave and go get... Do this is a rescue Wait. mission. Hey, hey! Heard I'll talk to everyone. Running around giving NA all the squirts. How many of them have you killed already? I... Don't even know. I don't like to dwell on it. So many you lost count, eh? Right on. Keep doing what you're doing and we'll win this thing. You'll see. Alright. Time to go rescue someone. NAR? NAR? That's the... That was the people who were shooting at me earlier when I went to get the me medical supplies. Were they? Uh... Fascist bodyguards. From what I under understand I don't think we know exactly yet what they're trying to do at the power plant What's taking them so long? Damn village idiots Take it easy Remember, time is on our side They'll come to us eventually There's one thing I still don't understand He said they sent him to hide the supplies in the middle of nowhere <laughs> Why? Who knows? These people are bonkers They've lived out here for years Swallowing radiation for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Must have messed with the brains. Anyway, we're in a good bargain, bargain, bargaining position, right? There must be more where I came from. Why well, don't? I know a guy we can sell to as well. Or maybe we can even sell it back to those fuckers. And they're trying to say there's a back entrance in there. Bitch! Reload, damn it. Use. Boom. Bitch. Wait, before I continue, I need to drink some vodka. My psyche's getting too low.
from the chemical plants. Oh my gosh, look how he died. <laughs> Hello? Anybody around? Got that now. Why did you leave that? I mean, I can. To General V. Kozlov, head of military operations regarding Operation Ghost World. You are hereby given full authority to assist. Pro Press our summon off and containing a crisis. Use whatever means necessary, including lethal force. All military assets are at your disposal. Feel free to request transfer funds. Oh, wait, I already read this. Hmm. Alright, so I've actually been here. <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Hello? So it's you. Why did I suspect you were involved in all this? Please, help me. My people are counting on me to return with food. Haven't we had this conversation before? I was looking for our stolen supplies and got jumped by those thugs. They stole your food and then set an ambush for you? <laughs> that doesn't make a lot of sense. They're dead. You're safe now. Are you sure? You say you went after the thieves. How did you know where to go, exactly? What do you mean? I uh, followed their tracks. I'm a skilled tracker and hunter uh, since I was a kid. Really? Olga said you were a doctor. What happened to the supplies? Must be somewhere nearby. We should stop and get them. I need to bring that stuff back. Why am I still locked up in here? Let me out and let's get back to Olga. I'll make sure you get the credit for retrieving the food. I gotta be good. I gotta get on good terms with Olga. So. All right, you're free. Head back to the camp. Thanks. I'll put a good word in for you. Because. If she, what she says is true and they got a lot of vodka, that could be really great for when my psyche gets low. We'll transfer vodka. Oh. Food ration. Well. Okay. That, that was real good to come down here. Now we just go back. Olga, and then mission is complete. Oh, you're probably gonna have to get those rations you just got up. Maybe. This is so probably like what the <clears throat> they were trying to be wanting to stir around. Thanks again for breaking me out of that hellhole. But before you go see Olga, I need to talk to you. Do you now? I had a feeling you might have a hidden agenda. You have the supplies, right? Let me take them off your hands. Thanks. What? <laughs> Those are some balls you've got there. I... I really need you to hand them over. I'll give them right back to Olga, promise. Either you tell me what is this no, all about, rations. or I'm not giving you shit. All right, all right. Look... I've been trying to help these people for years. Show them how to run this place better, organize themselves, and whatnot. Go on. But for some reason, they don't trust me. They only listen to Olga and that old coot, Matve. Don't get me wrong, I love Olga. I love all of them. They're my family, and I live to protect them. Mm -hmm. Even when it's against their wishes. Maybe they don't trust you because you're a lying sack of shit. What do you want with the supplies? Matve needs to learn his place. 
He's reckless, makes decisions that could get us all killed. His reign of terror has to be stopped. I'm going to spike his food. Just give him a little something to make him a bit more, um, docile. Then I can make some changes around here, and Olga will finally see reason. She's under Mate's influence. It has to stop. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> I don't know what to say. So this is all about your personal vendetta? I'm a doctor. As you know, I'll be very careful with the dosage. It won't do any real harm. Trust me. This will benefit everyone. If you help me with this, you'll always find support here. Whatever you need, I'll get it for you. Before I make up my mind, I need you to come clean about one more thing. Did you steal the supplies yourself to orchestrate this plan? <sighs> yes. Yes, I did. But only because of how much I care about this place. I'm willing to do the hard thing to save everyone. Um, I trust that yeah. you can see this and will make the right call. You know you need allies in a place like this. He's not wrong. I actually do need allies. Actually don't have any allies i would say refuse might be able to get better allies with them than i'll leave it up to bookworm bookworm you choose and then burger's response I oh gosh like, i'd say like I don't think he's, like, trustworthy as an ally. Oh, hi, Hatchet. I don't, I don't think he's trustworthy as an ally. Hey, Hatch. I'm having Bookhorn decide whether or not we want this guy as an ally. Oh. He's I already lied to I'm, us before. I'm on no. I'm, I'm on no. I'm on team Book, no. Bookhorn says no moral option, which is refuse. Hmm. <clears throat> Where... Also, for some reason, it's still showing Chu in the voice call. <laughs> Chu's not here. <laughs> the ghost of Chu remains. No way! I'm not gonna let you poison anyone. That's insane. <sighs> I wish you hadn't said that. Can I talk to you? Um, oh, okay, he wouldn't have to talk to you. Something funny. Funny how he done it, didn't attack you or anything. He's just like, you're just gonna rub that. Your I'm like, okay. That's fantastic. What about the thieves? Just some NAR bastards trying to earn something on the side. They won't bother you anymore. Good riddance. Nobody will shed a tear for those parasites. You came through, Igor. You're a man of your word. Thank you for saving Kostya. He can be difficult, but he's family. If you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Should I ask her to join us? Go ahead. Obviously. How about joining forces? It's you a woman. seem to have everything under control here. I could use someone with your skills and drive. And I could use someone who knows so much about NAR technology. Yeah, I think Madve can take care of things on his own for a while. Lead the way. I'll open a portal for you. Just... Don't freak out, okay? It is a little unsettling, but I trust you. Hop on and enjoy the ride. I'll see you at the base. All right, now I got two people to feed. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but you can also go get more resources. Now shoot yeah, that man. I guess never mind. Also, I am very excited because uh, my watch through of Attack on Titan with my mom has now come to the point where we are going to be starting the final season tomorrow. Mm, nice. You've gotten through the first three seasons. I appreciate you joining my little team. If this will ensure the safety of my people, then it's the right thing to do.
You want to talk more about the village? Does it have a name? We just call it Matt V's place. Uh, initially, it was nothing but some old huts, but when those bastards started showing up on our doorstep, we decided to fortify our position. It looks almost like a stronghold. You think it could withstand an NAR siege? Not if they bring trebuchets and ballistas. But seriously, we're doing fine. Food shortages have always been the biggest issue. So I guess it's kind of a medieval situation. Shit. I was going to say, NAR is only part of the problem. How do you deal with the shadows? Well, we call them lurkers. And they don't come around the village for some reason. I asked Matt Vey about it once, but he wasn't very forthcoming. He said something about specific microclimate of this spot. Microclimate, you say? Hmm. The important thing is that we're safe in the village, at least from that group of monsters. I trust Matt Vey. His word's good enough for me. Thanks for the stuff in AR. NAR. Any way we can. Mostly with guns and bullets and knives and pretty much whatever can be used to hurry someone along to the grave. I wonder why they're so intent on harassing you. You don't bother anyone out here. We thought the same thing at first. We figured maybe we could come to an understanding and they'd leave us alone. We got the whole wilderness here after all. Some low-level mercs agreed to turn a blind eye, but then they started coming to collect. A tribute? Exactly. It started small, but then those fuckers got greedy. <laughs> Naturally. They even wanted to borrow some ladies from our village for a party. Oh, no. Sounds awful. What the fuck? Fuck I you. I volunteered. I said to Madve, I'm no lady, but I'll go. And Madve replied, like hell you will. And then he told those NAR bastards to go to hell. Well, that's understandable. He's your stepdad. He was worried about what they'd do to you. Hell no. He knew if I went with them that they'd all end up dead with a mouthful of severed dick. I oh god. Wanted to avoid an all-out war for as long as possible. Um, <laughs> you truly are something, Olga. Um, damn. Well. I have so few few that I'm gonna starve, but they will they'll feed and you good? I I was laughing at something in my game. I'm fucking out here in the wilderness and I see a random hunter get on their ATV, drive forward, immediately crash into a tree, awkwardly back up, immediately crash into a rock, and then drive off about 20 meters before getting off of the ATV, <laughs> and then get back onto it and drive back to where they started. This lady seems very confused. Uh, sipping place. Don't have much mechanical parts, so they'll just have a really shitty bed. Right in the light. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we need power and air quality. We can get power. This one gives a lot of power. We should really go for this one. And boom! We don't have to worry about power for a while. Alright. Air quality. We cannot make any air quality. Um. 
you use all of your herbs to make a bed. I wonder. God damn it, not mean to do that. Fucking dickhead bear. Damn, I need five herbs to make, like, a, a little pot right here. I can grow my own herbs. So right now, we got power. Good. Got the bed. That's good. That was the immediate thing. And we need to get food. That is the most important thing right now is food. As well as increasing the air quality. Make pot. <laughs> Shut up, bookworm. It won't increase the air quality, but it will make the air funny. I need to talk to you, Igor. This is important. What's going on? I've gotten word from Mathe. His scouts discovered a prison in the Red Forest. They just discovered it now? I thought you guys knew this place better than the mice. They discovered that an old Soviet bunker had been repurposed. It must have happened recently. Go on. We didn't know about it because there's no reason to venture out that way anymore. That part of the woods is crawling with lurkers and any argoons. And Madve thinks it's a prison. Exactly. Someone's being guarded there. Whoever it is, it could be important. I know it's a long shot, but I still think it's worth it. It's not heavily guarded either. Definitely worth a try. Do you think it could be your mom? No, I, I don't. I believe she's gone. I've made my peace with it a long time ago. So, I take it you want me to check out this bunker prison? I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. And Mathe is occupied elsewhere. Are you in? You've got a point. It makes sense to have this place on our radar. I'll check it out. Atta boy. Now go bring me back some good news. All right, let's see what missions we got. Best days. Best days is one of your success missions. rate eleven percent. No, you're not going there. Sixty-six percent. Sixty-six percent. Four percent. Sixty-six percent. Thirty-three percent. Forty-four percent. Can you give them a gun? Do they have a gun already? Maybe, but uh, let's see. Oh, so, wait. You, so you don't know. So I can make sure. Yeah. Well. I don't. I know you just want to do the right thing. Yeah. But are you well, the only gun I have only has one. Only two guns I have is one is my overpowered pistol, and the other is a, a gun that only has one round in it. One round. It's better to give them a gun with one round than no gun at all. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Also, they might have bullets or something. You might find something else in the bunker. Anti-radiation medicine. Well, what the fuck? I'm done for mechanical first. That'll be useful. Hold up my assault rifle. I heard the squishy squisher sound. Great, keep your eyes open. Squishy what? On my way. Did you just say you're throwing your? What? No, I said I, I, I was hearing the squishy squisher sounds. What the fuck were you think I? What did you mm. think I said? It sounded like you said you were throwing your assault rifle, and that's why you heard the squishy squisher sounds. Oh no, I'm taking out my assault rifle because it's a picture sounds. 
No, well, I'm not throwing it. <laughs> it's like, fuck that. Just <laughs> toss your assault rifle in the bushes. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> I don't need this. Honestly, that sounds like something that you would do, though. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, give me the herbs. I don't need mushrooms. I got plenty of mushrooms. But I need herbs. I would not put it past you to just randomly abandon useful gear. Just on a complete whim. Guys around here, but I can't see them because they decided to send me out at near night time. Night time is best time, except Hold if up. you want to survive. I found the entrance. Watch out for guards. They're probably close by. Of course. Where else would they be? Okay. From my surroundings, I'm only seeing one. Yeah, good help. A skunk. I'll go beat that little shit's ass. Get back here, you little fucker. Up oh, there are, in fact, more guards. Yeah, there was someone behind you. Surprise, bitch! Where'd that little fucking stinky bitch go? <laughs> Pokemon says, poor skunk, what did it do to you? It stood there. But it appears this it appears the skunk that barely like that that runs at half my sprinting speed has eluded me somehow. First guard. Oh, you're right there. Hi there. <laughs> Shit. But well, that was easy. Where is he? Hurry up and load. Hi, you shot the tree. Dumb bitch. If I can't kill the skunks, Shit. then I'll kill these people's chickens. Where is he? Look! Holy shit, I almost died. And now my gun has no ammo. I mean, the other gun, now it's gonna give away. <laughs> okay. Don't know what that was, but alright. In a sneaky bumpish wool hatchet. What did you just say? <laughs> it's something Markplier said before. 
right? What did you say? Thanks. I said I'm being a sneaky wumpish wool. What? That makes no sense where you just uh okay. It's something Mark Wire said. <laughs> so it doesn't it it really it really it really doesn't help right. that you were getting cut off at the end. Huh? It really it really doesn't help that you were also getting cut off at the end. Oh, I was saying it, it's it's something Markplier said. Uh, it's I know the thing you said. Hey, Chew. Wait, is that actually Chew and not Chew's ghost? <laughs> Chew, if you're here with us, give us a sign. Are you Pan? I can't. I can't. I don't know your address to mail you things. You know what? That's good enough. Okay, can you hear me better now? Wait, you were talking? Before you got in here, Bright was having issues. Uh... Fucking Discord changed it to voice mod. Fuck off, Discord. That's why I kept getting cut off. I, I was saying sneaky wumpus woo. What? Yeah, it still makes no goddamn sense. It's something Mark Byers said before, so. Did you know? Did you know that reference humor is not the best type of humor? Yes, it is. Yes, and also. Also, like, no, it's not. It's only good humor if you if people know what the reference is. And even to then, mean. it's and even then, it's commonly fucking ridiculously stupid and vapid. Mm -hmm. You guys must be fun at parties. If you go to a party yeah, and the and the only jokes that are being told is references to pop culture, I feel sorry for you. Where the fuck is this entrance to this goddamn bunker? Keep going. To... Right, no. keep going forward. No, it, it, no, it's in this area. Right here. I have to search this area. Somewhere around here is the bunker. So it's keep telling me to go back to this area. It is somewhere oh, in here. The cult burned down Chad's red restaurant. I just got told about some guy named Chad Woloski. Where the fuck is it? Can you, like, look at your map? It's not going to show up on the map. It's a hidden Russian bunker. Oh, it's just going to be under frame. Okay. Yeah, and it doesn't really help much in a fucking forest. Oh, those are cultists. We might have to go a little bit further to find the entrance. No. No. And then I might that might be pointing you to something else other than it. No. As long as they have wonky like things like that. I I honestly don't know. Cause it's always shown a marker towards where an entrance is supposed to be. I'm gonna search around their base camp. Can't enter that. That's a train. Can't go in there.
You don't see me. There's no building entrances. It's just plain out confusing. Okay, so I'm going way too far away, is what it's telling me. Hmm. That's that claw thing from earlier. When I did a previous oh, mission. I, right, there was something you could pick up. Right there. I'm not lost. No. Step, Tanya. Don't worry, my love. I'll be fine. Like when you fell out of that tree you were climbing. You almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I was trying to give you an apple, remember? Try a low-hanging fruit next time. <laughs> low-hanging fruits are not my thing, Igor. Nah. Sounds like an innuendo. Wow, hatchet. Yeah, but not information I need. Get inside this fucking bunker! Oh no, there's nothing around to get to. There's gotta be something that's hidden. Like just a little thing. I'm generally confused. As to what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Okay. Wait. So the marker is in there. The okay, marker's over across there, and it's just trees and vegetation. No entrance. Wait, look to the right. One up there, it just. Doesn't go to a place, goes back to a previous mission area. I'm not. Very Wish my flashlight would stop not going out. So what was that like pile of bricks you just passed? What pile? I mean, this is not. There's no bricks. That's rocks. No. I wish there were bricks, because then they would show damn entrance.
go farther away. I'm gonna check over here. Make sure there's not nothing anything over here. Really, flashlight? Kinda make it hard to see at night. Well evening really. But wait, what was that building? This is not a building that's rocks again. No, th further right. There's no building. What are you oh. talking about? Oh, it looks like a building. Just the way that the smaller tree and branch were playing. This is really frustrating. Like, every other mission had a marker point to you exactly where the area is that you're supposed to go. I'm guessing that it's still doing that. Well, yeah, but it's not pointing you towards, like, the entrance to... Bunker. Don't think it's through here. I saw that shit. Oh, I know there is a downstairs too here, but it doesn't go all that way. That's where it ends. It's not through here. This is going to be like the whole Neko incident all over again. I don't even know what you're talking about. Where I spent a very long time find, finding what I'm supposed to find. Oh. What night was it? It was last night in Control. Just for cat ears, yeah. Yeah, I actually looked up that cat ear thing. The game developers intentionally put that in there. As a show that you waste your time doing this task. They admitted to that. It's literally... It was literally put as a joke. Like, you waste many hours collecting these fucking cats. Just for cat ears. I mean, at least give me uh, an anal cat cattail toy to put the go with it. What? What? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I don't understand. What is it I'm supposed to do? Just get a whole fursuit. Yeah, that's that's the price. You get a whole fursuit for collecting cats. Okay. A shout. Yeah. Other side of the bear ca The fucking bunker was on the other side of the barricade the entire fucking time. Damn, it's almost as if I literally said, hey, open your map. Usually they didn't put this on the damn map. On the first couple oh. missions, they didn't put that there. <laughs> so what? You still should have checked. Or they usually don't put labels that. They just say, here, go. This is, it's here. <laughs> so now I gotta figure out how to get the fuck over to the fence. 
right? Look at the map again. No. It's not going to tell me how to get over the fence. It can show you. See? Fence goes all the way around. It doesn't show any openings. It just shows fence. That's right. What's that little thing? Wait, wait, wait. Just look at the other one. What, that? Oh, that was something I accidentally placed. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so, when you come out of this, just turn your vision a bit to the right. And try not to move so much that we can't get a good look at what's going on. Vents. Vents. You know, I could, I just could just follow the fence to see an opening. And just go head my way yes, back to that's it. that's probably a good idea. Well, I would if there weren't so many damn trees. In the damn way. I'm sorry, but do you want... I'm guessing there hasn't been any precedent for being able to break things like this. No. Oh, oh yeah. That. And it's just mm -hmm. gonna... Yeah. yeah, what's this... What's this turn here? I don't know. It's I think it's a secondary fence. Mm. That I think is. Oh god. Oh, we can't go there. What? Radiation. Hey. Now I gotta sit and wait for my flashlight, flashlight to work. There we go. I think, it, I think at this point you might want to just double back and check the other direction. So I doubt that they're going to send you this far away. Oh, I found a helicopter. Interesting. Well, that tunnel just filled with radiation. Just specifically that tunnel. Oh, wow. Well. Well, what? There's an enemy? But yeah, this time I I'd I'd say double back and try checking the other direction of the fence. Yeah, no, this side gets darker. Yeah, because of the trees. Because of the tree line. Fuck off, chew. Pikachu did scare Bright. No, but they want me to get scared. And I'm trying to concentrate on something. Really, book? Now there was a scare Bright.
Hmm. It's just fucking trees. I'm trying to pay attention to the fucking fence. There's too many fucking trees everywhere. Well, you don't really have to because you're. Yeah. I was, I was gonna say wait until like after you get past the point. Oh, now I gotta wait. Why is the flashlight so quick to go out? Or here, go go back to where the spot was at. I'm right at it. Oh, you are? Yeah, that mm -hmm. full green bar means I'm right at it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm literally right here. <laughs> okay. Hey, what's the right? Over there? What? Right? Okay, so you need to walk right there. Right, okay. Yeah, that's just this. <laughs> yeah, I don't have either of those. Hmm. So, yeah. Wait, what's those paths things? Are those underground or are those just actual paths? I believe that's our actual paths. Okay. Yeah, if it was underground path, it's not even connecting to the, the marker, so. I wish it would say as to how the fuck to get in there. Oh, here. Go ahead. Get out of the menu. Put them out. I just, oh. like, stay still and have a good long look at all along the fence that's, like, at the marker. Well, I would if there weren't fucking trees. Hmm. I wanted to double check I couldn't break it. Yeah, I can't break it. It's all sealed shut. You don't have an explosive, do you? No. Fuck. Hmm. You're just looking it up? Yeah, because I'm kind of getting annoyed at this point. Yeah. Holy fucking shit, this, the person I'm watching has an electric radioactive sniper rifle. So they're at a further place than you are when doing this? Most likely. Also, Either that or you're unbelievably behind. Probably unbelievably behind. Um... 
Let me see. It's still looking. Yeah, what happened? What? Uh, for some reason, Twitch just made Twitch chat invisible, and I could see no messages for a few seconds. Mm. So far, the guy is just chasing after the fucking zombie bitches and not actually going towards the fucking prison. Okay. We need to go back to the camp. It's actually at that camp I kill soldiers at. We need to look for, um... It looks like... Okay. So it looks like one of these. But I don't think it's this exact spot. So we need to keep looking at one of these and we'll be able to find... The actual spot. Oh. <laughs> well. Hey, Bright. Hey. I think I see the bunker. Fuck off. <laughs> And now I'm in the area I need to look for, uh, dude. There's a dude around here I need to save. Oh. Uh, you can just sit there for a bit. I'm going to continue looking around. I'm pretty sure if I touch that, something bad might happen. <clears throat> oh, it's a child. Hey, little guy. What are you doing here? This is no place for children. No kidding, old timer. Let me out of here before the guards come back. What's your name, kid? I'm Gleb. I didn't do anything wrong. Let me out of here, or my uncle will kick the crap out of you. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh easy there, little fella. I'm not little. I'm already ten, you know. <laughs> the name the game is giving this child is Little Stalk a uh, Stalker. Little Stalker. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> First, I need to know how you ended up here. What is this place? I was going to visit my uncle. He was supposed to pick me up in Slavutich and this black van came after me. There were two big guys with faces like potatoes. They said that they would take me to my uncle, and they gave me a can of coke. It's supposed to wake you up, but I got really sleepy. Um. When I woke up, I was in here, but I wasn't scared. I didn't even cry. Maybe just a little. I'm almost a grown-up. I tried to escape once by myself, but the stupid guards caught me and put me back in this cage. And, and one of them said, if you try and run again, you'll regret it, little rat. But I'm not like a little rat at all. Rats stink and poop everywhere. You're the bravest little boy I ever met, Gleb. I told you, I'm not a little boy. <laughs> Who's your uncle? Someone important? 
Of course you. He's a big shot around here. When he hears what happened to me, heads will roll. That's exactly what he'll say. Hmm, I wonder. Is your uncle in the military? He was in the army like my daddy, but mummy and daddy are both in heaven now. So uncle is taking care of oh. oh. I'm sorry about your parents. So, he's a soldier, eh? He's working on something big and important for important people, but I don't know what it is. You're <laughs> a riddle wrapped in an enigma, my dear lad. This poor child. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I don't like the last question. Ask about ex experiments. Oh no, I don't like the last question. Ask about the experiments, Bright. I want to help you, Glet, but I need to ask you something first, okay? Okay, okay, but hurry up before the guards come back. I hate them. They stink like onions in medicine. Onions <laughs> in medicine? What kind of medicine? I don't know, but my uncle drinks it too. Says it's good for his heart. He always carries a small oh, bottle of it in his chest pocket. Yeah. Smelly. I see. That kind of medicine. These men. Did they ever hurt you? Did they give you something? Shots maybe? Or pills? No, they only yelled at me when I told them to let me go. Did they put you in a weird machine? Or give you to uh, green crystals? No, never. Huh, curious. So you have no idea why they put you in that cage? They'd say I'd be collater collateral? Something like the bear. Collateral? Maybe. I don't know what that means. They said that my uncle knows I'm here and he's coming to visit soon. But I bet they're lying. Poor oh boy. You've been through a lot. Can I see my uncle now? No, please, fuck you. Please, please. Soon, kiddo. Just give me a minute to think here. All right. Time to bust you out of here. Thank you. I'll tell you a really nice person. Igor, look. If you think things through and realize the lad is safe right where he is, then out in the zone. I will not let the intrusive thoughts win. Oh, great. So, if I let him go, he's gonna like me. But if I let him stay here, my allies are gonna like me. Better. Mm -hmm. So, either I can have the child like me, and my ally not like me, or... Oh, okay, awesome. Uh, vice well, versa. One, one thing to add to this. One thing to add to this. I think it's either... Yeah, they might... If you, like, help the child, you might be able to to uh get an ally later on potentially so also oh, okay. why is she why is she uh, oh sorry it opens the cell doors what now igor do you have any babysitting experience and the kid should stay in the bunker for now even if he's a prisoner he's protected he's safer in there than outside sorry i actually hit it you said it was reasonably safe right not a place for kids. What do you mean you accidentally hit it? What are they gonna do with them anyway? I, I was holding it. I held the button halfway down. I didn't think it would click. I tried to stop when you were about to say something. The molecular structure of his body may be irreversibly changed. In that case, I'm telling you, leave him right where he is. Okay, so what you were gonna say, Hatchet? I. Uh... Chu says Bunny Girl is trending on Twitter. I mean, it's Easter. No shit. Yeah, so, this is what I was trying to tell you, right? It, it, when I looked this up, it said that, like, if you don't have a good, like, rapport with, like, Olga probably shouldn't take this one, but, but. As far as I know, I have good connection with her. Alright, I put a three minute poll on Twitch. I was gonna ask, why is she saying you should leave the child? Oh. Because he, he's. She says he's safer in the cell. He could be safer, but like, it might try to do experiments on him. Right. Right. He said he would be collateral. 
Oh yeah, but collateral, I, I think what it implies is that basically they locked him up because they didn't have anything else to do with him. Mm. Okay. Oh, like I was thinking that it, they could have locked him up to make sure, sure he didn't get hurt or something. If they were like going to attack his uncle or something. Yeah. No one is voting yet in a Twitter poll. I'm not even on Twitter. Wait, a Twitter? Twitter? A Twitch right? poll. Twitch poll. I'm not on that either. Like Twitter. Like, why would you put it on Twitter? As far as we know, book, no, they haven't done anything to the kid except uh, tell them to shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, and also um, drug them. Oh yeah, they did drug them at the beginning. At the beginning. At the beginning, to. Uh, Kidnap. I think this course is giving me tons of problems. They kidnap and they drugged them. No, like they drugged him to kidnap him, and then they haven't done anything since. Right. I just went. Look at the like two choices and read what they said. Uh. Real Release uh, G. He's safe for your choice. M. If if I let, then if I let him stay here, I can't just let him run out in the woods alone. I need to figure something out. Hmm. Like you do need to figure something out, but like. Wait. Okay. I so if you release him. Back. Wait. Yeah. If you if you release him, you're just gonna just like toss him out in the woods. <laughs> Because if, like, if it's, if it's between, like, if it's between keeping the kid in the cell and not having him run out in nuclear woods, it's probably better to keep him in the cell. What were you trying to say, Derny? Yeah. Uh, Booker so, couldn't decide, so they used a random choice generator. <laughs> I'm gonna, so I'm gonna say, like, for the, like, leave him in the cell thing. Yeah, like, I, I... If he can come back and, like, help him later, that could, that could be a good option. Yeah. I hate to do this, but Olga's right. I, I can't risk the boy's safety. Help. Glib needs to stay here for the time being. Bookworm already chose. Everything else you need. You're making the right call. We'll take care of Glib later. When it's safe, I promise. That it was a boy. I accidentally took radioactive pills. You mean radiation medicine or just pills that are radioactive? Uh medicine. Okay, I was about to say, one of those is significantly no. worse than the other. But I highly doubt Chu voted for freeing the child. <laughs> what are we voting for? There was a poll that says either free or leave the child in a prison cell. Oh, I'm playing right now. And so I... I'm not yeah. looking at anything. Discovering a secret NAR prison in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. Currently trying not to die. To follow every lead. If it wasn't for you and Matvey, we might never have found this place. It was nothing. Trying not to die is pretty lame. Glib in the bunker. Trust me. Ask Matvey to send somebody over there to check out. Also, I don't know what, who this child is, inside. but um, toss them in the river. There you go. There's that is your. Not an option. Well, I made it an option. I chose option number three. And they're literally just a traumatized child. Oh, they failed the mission. Fire River. <laughs> Again, I'll star <laughs> so I get good. <laughs> so I'm on good terms with both of them. Very good. Alright, your base is. This is a very complex your companion, Twitchy. 
Uh, half the food ration comes to discontented or morale, but not impacting health. Air quality base is bad. We need to get air quality fixed. How do you even fix the air quality? Uh, I have to build something. Wait, hold on. Is that getting bigger? Uh. You know, Igor, this isn't the shittiest, most rundown place I've ever bunked, but it's in the top three. Fuck you. A radio or a plant to alleviate the gloom. <laughs> Improve the comfort level to zero. <laughs> it's apparently my comfort level's not even at zero. It's below zero. Yeah, that's probably a good thing to You're accept. Right. This place definitely <laughs> needs something. A radio or a plant would brighten the mood. I'll take care of it. Sounds great. Look forward to seeing some results. Alright, let's see. Can I... Air quality. Can I build anything yet? I need mechanical parts and herbs if I want to improve air quality. Shaggy would also probably love some herbs. Wrong herbs. There are no wrong herbs. That's what Master Ugwe said once. I highly doubt that. You lack faith in Master Uguay. That seems like a pretty reasonable thing to do. Alright, I'm going to... Why are you... Why are you placing the creepy doll? Why? It, it, it'll improve morale. <laughs> How is that gonna... It's a rate... It's a baby doll with what looks to be a giant tumor designed in its head. I know exactly what to do. Level up by 20. Oh nope. no. Okay, good. No. No, break. Go with the other one. Go with the plant. Go with the plant. No, I Go can't waste any plant. herbs or I won't be able to buy, uh, make an air, air purifier. Why why do you insist on trying to make this <laughs> fucking lodging the worst the worst possible why would you put it at the <laughs> I know it just for good measure Did you put that on the bed? No, is that the foot what? and the top of the bed? Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> so no matter what you're you're being watched. <laughs> and from the looks of it, they are at full comfort. I just need to increase air quality by 112. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Oh, wait. I mean, that's actually not... A, that's, that's not too bad. Like, based upon those measurements. Yeah. Sure. Everyone can't sleep now, and their performance suffers, says, says Bookworm. Oh. Everyone but you who sleep now. Everyone's it gonna is... go on strike. Food drop. Go. <laughs> Oh wait, hold on. Forty-four percent. Ready for some action, Igor? Show equipment. Um, I can't give that as armor. Okay. Take the gun. Go, sneak up. Let's see, can I? Oh wait, no. Camouflage armor takes herbs, and I need those. So. Fifty-eight percent. So it, it increased by a bit. We you Probably. can go get food and like put them on something else. 
Well, we need food badly, so I have to put them there. Wait, well, where's the other one? Put... That's Monster Hunt, and they failed that last time. Wait, aren't you capable of going and getting the food? Yeah. Oh, uh, well. Well, yeah, yes, I, I can. Sent them, yeah. yeah, that's 22%. <laughs> Oh, no. And I remember for the qu these ones right here, they can't complete mm -hmm. the mission. I'm the only one who can do those. The one that's marked oh, wait, in look red. Look at the other two. Look at the other two. The, the ghost, the ones right above that. Yeah, that's a red one. Only I can finish that mission. The oh, red no. ones are the oh, only ones I can finish. There was one, there was one red one that you... You had yeah. them try. Yeah, and they failed instantly. They're not. I remember because last stream they they swiftly stated when I first tried to do it that they cannot complete the mission because it's a story driven mission. Hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna leave her at food. We get that. Um, Are you gonna do the monster? No. Maybe. I guess. You could I... potentially get, get some more food or something. Yeah. yeah. And I can't um send Olivier anywhere because he doesn't like it because he does not like me <laughs> at the moment. I don't know why you wouldn't like me. Who are you talking about? Olivier. Uh oh. You got a like broken it. arm. Oh, he's got a broken arm? Yeah, he's yeah. had a broken arm for 16 uh for 16 days now. Why was I not informed of this? He, you were there when he appeared with a broken arm. I was there? Yes. When? You're on that stream like it you, I think you like you just hopped in when he appeared and asked for the pass, uh, asked for the password. Oh. Yeah, and he it, and he showed up with a broken arm. <laughs> Wait, so Wait, he's had. I think you might have just mi missed something, Greg. Go back, go back, go oh. back. What? Yeah, I saw something like come up under your feet. Something. Something around here. Uh, you no, are straying way. way away from where you came from. Well, I don't know to where right, I came you're from. Probably, to the right, 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 to the right. What? This? No. I, I'm no, confused. <sighs> to the right, right, right. What? There you go. There's still nothing. I, I don't see anything pop up. Pop up. Nothing's popping up. It popped up for a second. I can use a scanner after I kill the monster to see if there was anything there. This mm -hmm. really hates you. Cyrus is going alive. All right, let's kill this, uh, kill this monster. I got this. Oh, it's not here? Why did you put me so fucking far away from it? Fuck you, I guess. Also, it could allow you to grab some more gear or something before you get to it. I would like be looking around to like see if you can grab some stuff. No, I'm taking it head on. Right. Great, you you need stuff. I got this. Right, you need oh. stuff and like Right, I can be behind you. Oh, there you are. Oh, sorry. Okay. Reload, reload. 
bloody time. Don't forget that there's a way to dodge. I, for I forgot it. I forgot it was a while ago in this. Also, oh, oh god, oh god. I think it was press a direction and press A. Oh wait, I somehow am healing. Why am I healing? It's because you died. Because you died, right? It's not the end. I won't let it end like this. Well, mission failed. Oh, die, fade, portal, help, die, eagle. She had up. Items lost. Oh yeah, I lost all my herbs. Nice. That's great. Inspect my professor Semenov, your old mentor in the Kopachi kindergarten. He tried to convince you that he's only a lesser scientist with the NAR, and that he came to Kopachi to find some old documents. You believed him. So, in the future, you may want to not immediately run in when you don't remember all of the controls to the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can actually change memories. Oh, we can save the kid now if we want to. Yeah, this was... This was already established. We need to probably only do that. You're cutting out too, Adara. Oh, hi there. Rise and shine, Igor. Tatiana? There are things you need to face. Find me in Pripyat. Tatiana? Fuck off. She's gone. Again. Hmm. That's interesting. Is she dying? Or are you like, hope she... Wait, right, why did you not save? It's it has auto save. Okay. Oh, stream over. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, it it it, it constantly auto save. See, day sixteen. Yeah. That's, that's intermission, not end stream. <laughs> I put it intermission at first. Yeah, very very professional streamer. It gives me more time to sleep, so I can do a long stream. Uh, so I can do a long stream tomorrow. What's what are you streaming tomorrow? I'm thinking of doing the uh, anomaly missions for control. There's actually two anomaly missions. I don't know how to get to uh, how to get to them. Um and. One allows you to dash while flying, and I kid you not, the other one gives you the power to create a fucking shield. Okay. We could have gotten at any point of the story mission, but I wasn't told by any character. <laughs> so I want a full... Full story mission without a shield. Probably why I died a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, book won't go. Oh, sorry. Huh? Oh, I thought you were about to say something, Hatchet. No, I, I was just saying I get bit by dog. <laughs> Mm 
<laughs> oh yeah, I need to fix that thing in rules. I did, I forgot about it. I forgot about it. Okay. Where I made no loafing allowed a rule. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright for more radioactive zombie well, content. Well, also give her money if you can. Bright jokingly added the rule no loafing allowed to spite you. Because um, they, they said, they were the ones who literally said, make me stop loafing. So I did. Wait, uh, where is that rule? Oh, I deleted it. It's oh. gone now. It was rule 29, no loafing allowed. You still didn't stop me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I loafed anyway. What did you do again, Chew? I said I... <laughs> I think I'm gonna follow a rule. Especially one that I don't like. I'm sorry, Chew. Anyway, Bookworm says like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright for more uh, radioactive zombie content. Also, give you, give her money if you can. That's what Bookworm said. <laughs> Bookworm, wow, literal 1984. 1984. <laughs> uh, Chew, last words, go. Um, happy zombie man day. And don't forget, and do not eat the eggs that you left outside. That is very unsafe and gross. Okay, I'll go do that. Well, as long as I'm not the one getting food poisoning. That's you did, you did at some point, Chew. I never... When I did Easter egg hunts, I never used real eggs. No, I meant Why the mustard. I never got food poisoning. I still feel fine. You, you, but you ate expired mustard. Yeah, so what does that tell you? <laughs> it shows that I don't have a skill issue. I don't tempt fate you. That's not, that's not how that works. Yeah, that's not how that works. Why is it I'm the one who's saying that? It's usually the opposite. <laughs> if I had a skill issue, then I would have gotten sick. Hey, that's not how that works. Moderna, last words go. Yeah, it was. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, watch. I was gonna say, yeah, it was obviously a skill issue when Bright had to go to the hospital for arsenic. <laughs> <laughs> or not a? Was it arsenic? No. It was, no, uh... it was lighter. Uh, not lighter fluid. <laughs> lighter fluid. <laughs> Antifreeze. <laughs> Yeah, just a oh, skill like... issue, right? <laughs> just expel the antifreeze from your pores. That'll be my superpower, yeah. and I can just spray antifreeze. <laughs> he did also get food poisoning from, from like salmonella. Raw, yeah. yeah, from yeah, from raw like chicken or some shit. Yeah, but um. Adorno, last words, go. And apparently Chu forgot something. Since it's Easter, remember to stick egg up in a in butt. That's what Chu said. Chu, look on to the Chu. Does the egg have to be frozen or raw? Why is the egg... Who <laughs> freezes their eggs? <laughs> <laughs> so you froze an egg just so that when you shoved it up your ass, it would be cold before it broke in there. <laughs> before, I don't know any person who's trustworthy that freezes their eggs. And and also, right? <laughs> why would you? You specifically said either frozen or raw. A frozen egg is still raw, <laughs> unless you have cooked it before you froze it. All right, let me rephrase that question. Uh, frozen, Please. boiled, or raw? Please, just... 
<laughs> please stop talking. Just, just jump in a river. Please. Please. That shit last word. Oh, wait, no. Adurna. Adurna. Uh, Adurna. Adurna last words go. I forgot Adurna to do her last words. Happy. Ding dong, the wicked bitch is dead. Day. Um. Uh, hatchet. Oh. And prevent this bird. Okay. Uh, hatchet. Last words. Go. Did you guys hear what I said? Yeah. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, I said hatch your last words go. You are walking into your basement. Upon reaching your basement, you find four chickens. One is made of uranium, one of concrete, one of nickel, and one of copper. The uranium chicken intends to kill you. Which chicken do you throw at the uranium chicken? All of them. That's not an option. Raw. <laughs> Sorry. It's fucking raw. It's fucking raw. Bookworm right? says copper. <laughs> no. That's the second worst option. What was the question again? There, there, there are four chickens in your basement. One is made of uranium. One is made of concrete. One of uh, nickel. And one of copper. The uranium chicken is running at you and intends to kill you using its radioactive ass. Which... Of the Concrete. other three chickens, the uranium chicken. Concrete. Concrete. That is, that is, that is the best answer. Yeah. Good luck trying to pick it up, though. <laughs> I mean, they're they're. It, do you think? Well, con 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 it'd be is... like. Sorry. Like, it'd be like probably at least thirty, forty pounds, but like. Right. Have you ever picked up a cinder block? Yes. I remember chucking it at a garage before. Damn. So in other words, right. you picked up something that's approximately the same weight as this concrete chicken. <laughs> Good job. I mean, not everyone can lift 30 to 40 pounds. So, right, right, right. I am very confident that the vast majority of people can at the very least pick up and toss 30 pounds. Yeah, anyway, uh, Chu says egg plus butt plus Easter equals fun. Uh, Chu's just having a lot of fun thinking about all the rabbits with big dicks that, that are horny because it's Easter. And she wants to be bred. Mm -hmm. We're moving on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um. My final last words to stream is that Chu is the king of breeding. That is all. See you later, Danger <laughs> Noodles. <laughs>